Jim Harbaugh is trying to sell us some BS and I'm not buying it. He's over with the Chargers now and when he was asked about Michigan's notice of allegations from the NCAA, he sat his butt up there at the press conference and said this. Never lie, never cheat, never steal. I was raised with that lesson. If you stumble, you apologize and you make it right. Today, I do not apologize. I did not participate, was not aware, nor complicit in those said allegations. Jim, you can give us the integrity speech all you want to, but either you should have known about it or you were complicit in it. You walked out the door and was like, no, 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 no. Don't have this conversation in front of me. But 58 games filmed over three years and you got five coaches with level one violations. So either you hired people with low integrity and you don't know what you're doing, which I do not believe because you are a competent coach, a good football coach. College football coaches are notorious for having their thumb on every single part of the program. And the man that replaced you, Sharon Moore, when you were suspended last season, he's implicated in this too, deleting 52 text messages. And, and we supposed to believe that you're just an innocent bystander. This just happened to us. Hell no, Jim. Come on, man. We don't believe this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Even if you are a person that says, this is not a big deal. Even you believe that either Jim knew or he should have known. He's the one who hired Connor Stallions as an analyst on his staff. Why did he do that? What type of valuable information did this non-football coach bring to this university and this football team? What was he bringing, Jim? Did, did you just unwittingly hire him? No, you knew he was bringing something unique and something very valuable to the table. Otherwise, you would not have hired him because getting on college football staffs is by far one of the hardest things. Breaking into coaching is by far one of the hardest things to do because it's the good old boys club for an outsider. Jim Harbaugh can sit up there with the Chargers and be like, I'm going back to practice. I made my statement. I do not apologize. All he wants to. But the reality is he's going to face zero consequences. He's in the NFL now. He got a ring and he bolted out of Dodge. Michigan fans are like, listen, you can try to vacate this win all you want to, but we saw it happen. Everybody knows it happened. So at the end of the day, this is a failure of the system and exactly why college football needs a commissioner. We need a commissioner to be able to act swiftly when things happen and not wait for the wheels of justice and the due process people. Because if a player or a coach gets in trouble, gets arrested, has a DV domestic violence incident, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna be taken off the field. Their whistle's gonna be taken away. And the same thing when you violate the integrity of the game like Michigan did, something needed to be done. So now Washington, Oregon, Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, Penn State, all the people that were in the championship mix, now they're sitting here left like, damn, like, uh, we knew something was wrong, but now we have no idea who the eventual champion for last year rightfully should have been. Because anybody that tells you that this is not a big deal is not a football person. Because football people know that you don't have to get all the calls right. When Connor Stallions is sitting up there next to the defensive coordinator or the offensive coordinator, looking at his little sign sheet, oh, oh hey, and then they're changing calls. You don't have to get them all right. You gotta get some of them right in crucial times. And Michigan got big stops when it mattered the most and you have no idea how it impacted the game. We've seen plays where their defensive linemen won't rush on screen plays. That defensive linemen would have at least bit on a little bit and then retreated. Nope, because they knew something. And of course, you're gonna have the Michigan strong because it's college football. Say, oh, this is no big deal. This is hogwash. This is everybody. It's Ohio State mad because they couldn't beat us. 
Maybe that's true. Maybe Ohio State is mad. And so are the other 12 opponents, which makes 13 total who are upset that you advance scouted them in a way that even NFL scouts say is impermissible. And Connor Stallions, he didn't do anything that big of a deal. Everybody does it. So why were you in a disguise on the sideline, man? Come on. We know better than that. And Jim, come up with a better lie next time. Because yes, yes, we do understand. Nobody's got it better than you. Jim Harbaugh says that in addition to the lessons that his dad taught him, he always said, who got it better than us? And the kids replied, nobody. And now, who has it better than Jim Harbaugh? Nobody, baby, in the NFL. Big bucks, long contract, won a national championship, and gets to face none of the consequences for what happened under his watch. Let that sink in. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, get notifications, and most importantly, share the Unafraid Show so we can keep bringing you dope content.